what's happening it's your home by mr capone episode of blogs and uh this one's out to rest in peace moose sidhu moose wala um one of the biggest artists in the world definitely the biggest artist in the punjabi world um i'm dropping this announcement september 21st because this is the day i drop in this video bloodlust so before i get into it i need you to hit the subscription button um and um to keep you updated all right um this is a message that i had to let the world know i'm getting thousands of messages from the punjabi community hitting me up about uh sindhu song bloodlust i said and i told everyone i'm gonna drop it september 21st um couple things before I start, first of all, the video is done. It is done. Um, second, the video will not be dropped on the 21st. And let me explain to you why. And I'm going to explain to you because I love Moose and, and I got nothing but love for him. First of all, we had unfortunately, first of all, I'm Mr. Capone. I'm one of the OGs in the rap game. I've been doing it for years, streets been locked you know what i'm saying and we lost another artist in mexico named lefty so that's one thing slowed it down but bigger than that reason than even lefty may he rest in peace is uh the video i went through a lot of trouble with people producing the video in india now i'm gonna tell you straight up i did this video because sidhu grew up to my music Rest in peace, Moose, the biggest artist, Punjabi artist out there. He grew up to my music. He had love for me. He's like, you influenced me to do music. Basically saying, there wouldn't be no Sindhu if I didn't listen to Mr. Capone, Tupac. You know what I'm saying? And if you know about the West Side and the West Coast, on the streets, hip-hop is definitely a street music. And before Punjabi music became street, a lot of them grew up to us. In, in L.A., there's the Crips, the Bloods, the Essays. This is our culture in Southern California. And uh, you have to be influenced by one of them definitely to uh, be talking about and knowing about that. And every community has its own same stuff. But I was one of the originators from my homies on this side and see the group to my music before I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to show you this message. Sindhu sent me before we ended up doing the track. So read this message right here to all my Punjabi fans out there, all my Sindhu fans, Moose fans out there. Baji, just listen to read this message. So yeah, Sidhu uh, said, man, I grew up to your music and all that. So he contacted me to do the song. He's like, man, I want to go to the West Side. I like nothing but Tupac. And now I like nothing but Mr. Capone. You know what I'm saying? And um, a couple times he introduced him through uh, my boy Jay Han and them and stuff too. And then he said, you know what? I'm hitting you direct. I want to do a song with you. So then we were talking, all right, well, we'll see what's up, man. Let's, let's get something, you know. I respect you guys out there. I got love for my Punjabi fans. I mean, I got love for everybody in the world. I did a song with Lefty. I've been to China. I've been to Japan. I've been to Korea. I've been to the UK, Europe. Did shows in Spain, Mexico, like all around the world, right? So it's, it's just that love for the real, respect the real. And he definitely wanted to do the song, and I respect him and his community and i was like all right let's do it so we ended up doing the song bloodlust one of his last album probably his last album i mean well for sure his last album before he passed away and his last song and it's how ironic that the song is called bloodlust by being it's called bloodlust he was telling me like yo man you know we're keeping it real out there and we never leave our our people behind and even if they pass away, we come back with revenge. And I don't know what's going on in the media. I don't know who did what. But at the end of the day, in a way, I'm bloodthirsty. 
But I'm going to leave it at that. Whoever did it to my brother Sidhu Musawala. So he sent a message. And I'm going to send you another video right now. Here's a little message right here he sent. He sent to the video, one of the one video producer before him passing away. He's like, I want to go to LA, do a sick video with Mr. Capone. He was contacting me all the time. And he's like, I'm looking for video guys. And he hit up one of the video guys, right? So here's a little uh, message he sent to him. Check it out right here. Yo, bro, I'm uh, working with Mr. Capone uh, on my new song. So hope a uh, power video we shoot karange dhone, bro. Sick, sick level there. Bro, I'm uh, working with Mr. Capone uh, on my new song, so hope a uh, power video we shoot karange dhone, bro. Sick, sick level there. All right, so he said he want to do a sick video. I was like, don't worry, I'm gonna bring the homies, tat it up. When you come, we're gonna take care of you in LA. We're gonna show them low riders. We're gonna show the walls, Mr. Capone. Rest in peace, Moose. With within the next day. Rest in peace, Moose. Baji passed away. I got a call from Jay Hen. He told me, woke me up from my sleep. I didn't want to hear it. I thought, nah, it can't be real. And it really happened. And I was preparing that week to shoot the video with Sidhu. So on that note, it came to the point for me to um, shoot the video. I was like, look it. Sidhu wanted to shoot the video. This was his request. This is what he wanted to do shoot the video with me bloodlust he wanted that and it'd be greedy for me not to do it now i don't make money off this record this is sidhu's song sidhu was gonna do a song for me too but we never got to that level we just got to this thing of sidhu song sidhu's album i got you brother i'm gonna take care of you i'm gonna drop this song with you you got a big a community behind you i represent the streets of la we're going to do this bloodlust. So, song was done. We were supposed to shoot the video. He's not here. What does what the right person do? Move forward and make sure the video is done. Now, I'm not going to throw people under the bus until we get to that level. If someone disrespects, we won't get to that level. But um, people were quick to say, I'll shoot that video. I got emails from like 20 different, 30 different people to shoot the video. I chose one person specifically to shoot the video. I'm not going to say who, what, nothing like that, because no hate to them, whatever, right? But they're quick to take the money because I came out of my own pocket. I spent out of my own pocket to shoot the video. Sidhu was going to shoot the video with his money, but I shot it with my money to do the video. And every streams that he gets goes to Sidhu, and now prior to Sidhu's family. So definitely when I got the video done, I said, I'm going to get this video done and send it to Sidhu's family, to his mom, dad, whoever I can contact. I have a couple people that I know that know Sidhu's family, like Britasia. I did an interview with Britasia. They know Sidhu's family, Sidhu's dad. So I was definitely going to go send the video to him first before anything and say, hey, blessings, Sidhu wanted this. This is the video I'm sending to you guys. And Bertier said, no problem, brother. Send it, you know, as soon as you get the video. Then I had camera issues. Well, I don't know if I want to shoot it. They took the money. But after they took the money, they're like, well, I want to talk to Sidhu's family before. I was like, you don't need to talk to Sidhu's family. I will talk to him. You have nothing. You know, you got into the do your job as a video person, not as a negotiator. I don't know, maybe wanted more money. I don't know what it was. But at the end of the day, they want to talk to Sidhu's family. Now, I'm not going to hate on them. I'm not going to say their name or nothing. But online, I was like, you know what? The video should have been out. It wasn't out. I said, give me back my files. Give me this. I'm going to get a new editor. So I went to a couple other people, and they're like the same thing. Like, hey, everyone started trying to get greedy. Some guys goes, hey, they gave me a budget of, $20,000, I'll shoot it. Some guy said something else crazy, this and that. They're like, boom, it started getting ridiculous. And I want to get this video shot by an Indian producer, a person from India to shoot the video. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get an Indian person to edit the video, right? 
So I had all these runarounds. So recently, time was coming up. I said September 21st, I needed the video done a month before the thing. Same thing. Um, oh, we sent it to India. They said get, it's going to take a month to get back. And no, and no, these are people trying to help out later, right? So no disrespect to them. So I made some phone calls. I go, I need to get this video done, man. So today, I barely got the video done, but I'm going over it. It's a re-editing. This is Sindhu song. We want to make it right. We don't got the greatest footage of Sindhu, but we need the song out. We need the video out. We need the message out, bloodlust, whether it's because you love them or because you have lust or any reasons you can decide why you want to call it bloodlust. And some people were scared of that word, bloodlust. But this is Sindhu's song, and this is my song with Sindhu. It's nobody else. There's no, let's make peace, let's this. It's a song, it's music. No one's threatening nobody, no one's doing nothing. We have a song, and we want to get it done. So I got it done, and um, it's barely done right now. Um, I was going to release it today, but I feel like I need to still reach out to their family. And that's my number one goal, to get it to their family. Just because I got it done now, it's not enough time to drop it this quick. And guess what? I want to get it dropped on Sindhu's page. You know what I'm saying? Because that's where he belongs too. If I eventually drop it on my page, that's cool and all that. But Sindhu still will make all the money from my page. But it's going to go to Sindhu's page where I belong. This is my vlog channel. So this is just my interviews and stuff like that. So I'm going to get it to Sindhu's page as best as I can. So I need a month or so to contact. I'm so busy on tour. I have a show in New York City now. I'm going to try to make sure I get it to the right people and hopefully do it right. So please pardon me, forgive me, all the um, Punjabi community. I didn't get to drop the video, but I'm doing this announcement to let you guys know. I want you to share this video with everyone throughout all the Indian media. Bloodlust will come for sure. I don't care. Bloodlust will come. The video will come. I don't care. Like, it's going to come because this is Sindhu wanted it. And I'm going to make sure. All these video guys who are trying to negotiate deals or all these video guys or middlemen, let me talk to you. Let's make a new deal. Let's, some people say this and that. Some people have the urgencies to say, hey, let me get some of your lyrics and do a new song. And now I know before I do anything for Sindhu, this is Sindhu's song. He earns the money on this song. So when the song goes into YouTube, anywhere, it all goes to him and his family. And that's where it belongs. Even if it makes a million, 10 million, it belongs to their family. And I'm going to make sure I get this video out and put it out for you guys. So just give me, hold me off for a month. Um, I got love for the um, Punjabi community. I got love for everyone that's real. And I know there's a lot of things you guys going through also in the Punjab. And you guys are, and you guys are fighters. And you guys are warriors too. And I got love for all my real warriors out there. You know what I'm saying? So Sidhu was a legend. Rest in peace, Moose. Like, you know, he he fought back even when he passed away. You know what I'm saying? So I will get this uh, video out very soon. I, I'm very disturbed myself that it's not out today. Like, I'm pissed. Like, I want to, like, strangle, slap people around being mad. But I'm not going to go there. We will get it out. I feel like... There's a lot of weird things going on in the industry. People are asking for money. People making excuses of different things. I personally have the relationship and the song with Sindhu. I will get it to Sindhu's family. I want Sindhu's music out there. I want Sindhu's video out there. And I will get it out there by one way or the other. All right? So please, brothers, share this with everybody. Let everybody know. Spread the message out. To all the news media, Sindhu video will be out this year. I'm going to bring it out, but I just want to make sure it's done right because I just barely got it. I know I got to make a few adjustments on the video. I want to send it to his family. I want to send it to the people, send it to Bratasia, send it to everybody, and we can have a beautiful music. And respect Sindhu for what he is, a beautiful artist. This is not no threats. This is not a song of anything. It's a song that Sindhu and me did before he passed away bloodlust and it means very deeply to me i don't care what it means to anybody else but i know what it means to me all right so um everyone wherever you at 
Europe, India, USA, wherever it is. Sidhu's video is coming out. And September 21st, I had to make this announcement. And I'm letting you guys know again. Rest in peace to Moose. Please share this everywhere. Let everybody know about it. Don't let this not be spread out. Let the message be out. It's the homie Mr. Capone. And um, I got Sidhu, man. Rest in peace. We're not going to let his, his music coming on. I know everyone's doing new music songs, this and that. But this is off Sidhu's album. And this is Sidhu's project. And I got Sidhu. Rest in peace, the moose.